I know of four ways of setting the speed on a cassette deck, and I'm going to show you them. Now, let's get stuck into it here. One of the first things you've got to do is locate the speed controls on your deck. They're normally in the back of the motors, but they can sometimes be on the PCBs, so you have to go and find them. But before you fiddle with anything, I recommend you get a tape and you record a tone onto it, and possibly a bit of music, because if anything goes wrong, you need to be able to set it back to where it started from. And the tape you recorded will, of course, be the exact what it needs to be. And if you don't need to set it back to where it was, you can use it to hear how good the differences are. It's all good stuff, this. It just needs to keep it simple. Method number one. Now, this one is really simple. And it's really easy. But it's very expensive if you haven't got the bits already. And so we'll go from there. What you need is one of these, which is a, a test tape. This one has to be an azimuth one, but it says on there 10 kilohertz. So I know what this, it should be on playback. On eBay, you can buy things like speed adjustment tapes, but whether they're accurate or not, we'll never really know. But, you know, give it a go. If I was going to buy a tape, I'd buy a well flutter tape, because that's good for speed as well. But ideally, you could have both. But then you're looking at about 30 or 40 quid each. This is a useful tape, but, uh, you know, it's um, a little bit more specialist. However, because it's got what it is written on it, you can use it for speed adjustment. All you do is play back the tape and see on one of these things what the numbers are. Or, if you haven't got that sort of money, one of these. This is free. Even if I had one of those, I wouldn't use those. I'd use this app because there's no wiring involved. You just literally put it near the speaker, play back the tape, and you can see the numbers. OK, now, everything we do from this point is easy for the amateur to do, but it's going to take a little bit more time. But as this is a hobby, and time is cheap, what you need for this is a commercially made cassette music tape and also you need to have a streaming service that has got the same or a cd that's got the same version of the tune on it and then you sort it one of the problems i've got with this cheap way of you doing it is that i can't play anything that's got copyright so you just have to believe me but there are some videos on my channel which show this in more explicit detail so you play the stream and you look at this meter and you see what the numbers are and then you quite simply play back the tape the commercial tape of exactly the same track and hey presto you make the numbers match and it will be accurate to within a very small amount and when you think about it it's ridiculously simple because music is played to a tempo and if the tempo is the same of both pieces of music then the music is the same and the speed is the same this one is again involving playing back a stream but it's something more like a, an orchestral piece. And what you do is you play back the orchestral piece on the oh, tape absolutely. at exactly the same time so as you nice play back the same playing. orchestral piece from the stream. And if it's around about the same speed, then it will sound OK. It might sound out of step, but it will sound OK. But if it's slightly off, you'll hear a horrible sound. And uh, this, will sh this is what the sort of thing you might hear. Well, that worked. Now what I'm going to show you here is what happens if you do a big change. I'm going to slow the cassette deck down. I don't know if you can hear that. It sounds like a really bad group has come in and started playing. Now it's back to normal speed, and it just sounds out of time. I'm going to speed it up. As you can hear, that sounds really awful. But if you get it close to the right speed, it just sounds out of time, not out of frequency. And that's what you're aiming for. So that's a way of doing it. Next we have a way that's been spouted a lot on Facebook, which is to run a track and then to run the track on your cassette deck at exactly the same time and to try and uh, literally match up the two tracks, as in get the beats right, get it to sound right, get it to start and stop at the same time. This I have done, and there is a video on it. I'm not even going to attempt to show you much of it or anything because it really is soul destroying it really is hard work and yes the end result when i checked it was very accurate but it was no more accurate than using the bpm meter because effectively you're doing the same thing but there we go anyway that's it hope you got something out of this video and there's a couple of other ones coming up soon so 
like, subscribe, put any comments in down below and we'll see where we go from there. Thank you very much. Cheers.